Hello friends, welcome to another vlog. In a case of being completely meta, I am currently uh, rendering the last vlog right now. Like that's what that computer is doing. Um, I just finished my Regency jacket and I put the sleeves in. Here it is in this lovely pile. Uh, now I need to take out all the basting stitches that are in here and trim this seam allowance down and then bind it with lighting, with bias binding. And I am going to use my bias by binding maker that you guys told me to buy on the internet. So I bought this, so I'm gonna try this. Um, so that's what's gonna happen next and I'm gonna put that on and then we're gonna see where we're gonna go from here. I am very close to being able to cross something off on my board. I'm very excited about that. Um, I will probably start working on pollinating my 18th century gown after that to get that knocked out. I do want to look at this wig this weekend and possibly try to style it and start working on the trim for my 18th century dress. So we'll see about that. In um, news, male related news, I got a fichu, which is a I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a triangle shaped situation um, and it was hand bound on the edges by uh, Penny River Costumes on Instagram. I will try to remember to link her down below. She's awesome. She has a whole bunch of scarves and pin, pin ball things and um, Regency reticule kits that let you embroider on them that are super cute. Um, I adore her store. I buy stuff from her all the time. I don't think she has quite figured out that's her Penny River. Um, figured out that, like, I'm pimping her so much as I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get this jacket finished right now. Um, a lot of that's just gonna involve me sitting on my bed watching Greatest Showman and stitching on bias binding, so. I'll be back when that's all done and we will do the board together. Okay, I tried this thing. Um, I think it's definitely faster than the way I do things. Um, it doesn't do a center fold though for you, so you still have to like flip it in half and pin it over and steam out a center fold anyway. And it doesn't seem as exact as like the way I do it, but it is much faster, so I think there's a place for this in my life. It's maybe not an every time thing, but definitely this time. Okay, I am two thirds of the way done with that binding of the armhole situation and it's like dark out and it was light out when I started this I think it's been like four hours um, to be fair I did like stop to post my other vlog and also I stopped to eat dinner and I stopped to like watch musical numbers on The Greatest Showman and you know it wasn't all hand sewing for that amount of time um Let's see here. I stopped to come in here to talk to you guys because people are asking me questions in the comments. Um, lots of people don't understand the costume trip thing that I'm going on, so I thought I would just talk about it and answer everybody. So, Sense and Sensibility Patterns had this costuming trip. So, normally they do a trip just through England every year and it ends up in Bath. Um, and I didn't really know about it except that I knew that my friend Kathy um, helped like shepherd this trip. She's not really in charge of it or anything. She just kind of goes on it and helps the person who's leading it, make sure everybody gets everywhere. You know, she's just a helper. So through her mailing list on Foundations Revealed, I got an email saying that they were doing this huge trip through Europe and it was going to be like the selling point for me was we were going to be able to costume at Versailles, which Versailles is like Disneyland. Normally you can't costume there. So when I heard that she was gonna somehow get us to be able to costume in Versailles, I was like, hells yeah, and I signed up for this trip. And I was like, oh, good to go to get Jane Austen Festival in Bath, and like, I love Bath, it's a beautiful place, and I've, I've always wanted to go see Jane Austen Festival, so. Um, I don't even know anything, well, I didn't at the time know anything about Jane Austen, but um, I just thought it'd be cool to go look, not like participate, but I'm participating now. So anyway, I signed up for this trip and that is the trip I'm referring to um, there's another video which I will try and remember to link down below with my rant about what's happening with this trip because <laughs> I don't need to rehash that but um definitely 
it's not the trip I thought it was gonna be. The people who we're gonna teach are having, are, are not all gonna be the ones who are teaching. We're not costuming at Versailles, we're not even going to Versailles. So, um, it's, not the, it's not the trip I signed up for. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's going on with the trip. Um, people are asking if there's an occasion for the Europe trip or if there's like a costume college like event there or anything like that. And the answer is nope, no, it's just a tour group of people traveling through Europe, visiting like historical sites and having like people who are costuming experts come and talk to us and teach us things like course, like Barbara um, from uh, Germany is gonna come and teach us about corsetry kind of stuff so you know theoretically it should be really awesome <laughs> theoretically it should still be really awesome it's just not the trip I signed up for so anyway that is what the deal is with that um what was the other thing I was gonna talk about oh yeah so I started saying in my other vlog last week and they're of course in another room. I started wearing old lady grandma glasses when I sew now. <laughs> I started today because I had to rip out a seam that had teeny tiny little stitches and it was kind of dark and I was just like, mm, I'm just gonna wear these. I bought them a while ago like thinking in case I needed some magnification for some reason I would, I was just like, oh these are actually awesome. <laughs> so I'm like, oh I wear old lady glasses today. I feel like I've arrived. I can't wait to be old. Like I have like long like but gray hair, you know, I think that would be super awesome. I have a couple gray hairs coming in. Every time I have to dye my hair, I'm like, oh, I want to pull them out and like not dye those ones and like let them be there. I actually like my gray hairs. So <sighs> yeah, I am really stoked about um, wearing old lady glasses now. And that's what the, the face was in my other, my last vlog in, in the thumbnail. I was like, oh, I'm going to wear old lady glasses now. And this is going to be amazing. So I get really excited about weird stuff. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm a little slap happy because I've been hand stitching binding for like ever. I'm gonna go finish that um, and then I'll be back with that and then I'm gonna try to figure out how, how to polonaise my 18th century gown. I like literally think it's like, hey, fabric cover some buttons, stick them on here and also some ribbons so that you can do this. I hope that's that easy because that's what I really need it to be so I can cross it off the board. I need more easy stuff. Okay. This is vaguely how it looks. It's totally done. Um, I'm fairly happy with it. It gathers up down here. It's maybe not. It's like maybe over bunched here and needs to move out, but kind of have to put it on. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it in general. Gonna wear it tomorrow probably helpful to pull it down like that um, yeah so uh, we're done with this which is exciting oh this guy seems to want to roll a lot I wonder why maybe that is a pressing matter I will need to iron it to make it go away Let's go uh, do the thing we all want to do, which is cross off this. Boop. Done. Who's super excited about this? Did I just like completely go off frame? Okay, there it is. It's done. Super excited about that. Yeah, so I'm watching Sherlock right now, uh, and I'm hoping that the polonizing will be a super simple matter. And I can get that knocked out quickly. It would be nice to knock out a few items on this list this weekend, so I'm gonna attempt to do that. We'll see. Uh, I could probably get some of these things done. I feel solid about it. I need to wear my dress tomorrow to figure out uh, the location of the thread loops. Like, I think that the seam that my underbust seam is actually like in the middle of where I want the thread loop. Like I want it to, to the sash to go higher and lower than that. I think like if it sat a little bit higher, if the sash sat a little bit higher than that, it'd be good. But I got to try it on to, to know and I might as well wear it and then look. So I will probably do that on Sunday. So we'll figure that out. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to read these instructions and see how it goes. If I have time tonight, I'll do that. And if I don't, I will do it tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes.
and yeah, obviously it'll look better when it's on hoops and with skirts and everything, but we can be Polonaise. So, Dunzo on that guy, who was excited, knocked off two situations in one day, feeling excellent about that. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed, feeling pooped. It's like midnight or so, so I'm gonna go finish watching the Sherlock episode that I was watching. I'm rewatching all of them. I'm on the Hound of Baskervilles. Every time I see this, no matter what, I've watched Jeremy Brett, I've watched like some other one that was like ancient and probably BBC. I've watched this one. Man, and I've read the story, and every every Hound of the Baskervilles, I'm like, at like I stop paying attention like halfway through so this one I've like every time I lose focus I stop and I go back and <laughs> I'm like I'm forcing myself to watch it so I'm not just like I don't even know what's going on here because I got so bored so I'm gonna finish watching that and then I'll probably be tired from watching that and I'll just go to sleep so it'll be fantastic anyway uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with more. Tomorrow is the baby shower, so it's not until the evening though. It's like an evening baby shower, so and I do need to like go get a gift card and a card and like some other random errands tomorrow. So we'll see how much I sew. Uh, Sunday is completely dedicated to sewing though, so I'm excited about that. Hey guys, so for those of you who want to see me in a costume, I do not have my bonnet or bangs. They're coming in the mail today. Anyway, this is the Spencer and my Regency dress and boots that I will be taking to bath with me. Walk that way. Walk, this way. Walk that way. <laughs> okay, we're at our like somewhat Regency baby shower mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. Brian. There. <laughs> it is. <laughs> You're always on my vlog. <laughs> Here's Lynn McMaster's, and there's the the mommy of honor. Hand me the camera so we can get you. Oh, I'm already in it. I, she did video me. Okay. Just checking. No. <laughs> Proof that I actually did wear Regency at one point in my life. <laughs> it has happened. Hello, it's Sunday. Um, as you saw from my footage yesterday, I went to the Regency baby shower for my friend Claudine, and that was super fun. But I wasn't feeling super well beforehand and I wanted to clean my house just a little bit which I didn't really get that far on and stuff so I basically took Saturday off um, and then when I got home it was pretty late I think I got home from that party at like 10 30 at night <sighs> it was really late <laughs> um, and then I answered comments for a few hours on the last vlog you guys are awesome like <laughs> I was like, hey, does anyone have an overdress pattern? Meaning, like, if you've made an overdress and used a pattern, like, did you find one that you really liked? And people were, like, in research mode trying to find me patterns. I was like, whoa, thank you. Thank you, guys. You're so awesome. Like, I did not mean to put anybody out. I just was like, if you used one before, let me know which one you like. Um, anyway, I have a bunch of options. Um, a couple of people have suggested really cool things. Someone even in like offered to make me one that actually was sized for me that she made her own pattern for. So um, I'm gonna try that one <laughs> um, and maybe a couple other things. I don't know if I'm gonna try any of them before I go on this trip. So um, we'll see what happens with that <clears throat> situation. Uh, but I will try it definitely afterwards. I'm like still gonna need an overdress. I still have a Regency dress to wear. So um, that's where we're at with that. In mail news, I got this bonnet in the mail, which goes with my Spencer, like, super well. Only problem is, um, well, it, there's several problems, <laughs> but the, the main problem is that currently it doesn't really fit on my head right. Like, it feels like it sits too far back. So, um, I am going to take this thing out because it's like really thick and it's just sort of loosely tacked in there and see if that helps it sit better on my head. Um, also, Lynn is going to stop by my house next week and show me a couple other bonnets that she has that I might be able to borrow for this trip so that I can stop worrying about it. 
I'm she was gonna make me a bonnet, which I am like Yes, too, <laughs> but I'm also like, you know, honestly if I had her make me a bonnet like I Feel like I wouldn't take it because I would be so afraid of smashing it like this thing was like 70 bucks like I don't if this gets crushed like whatever. It's also you know Not completely period accurate and stuff. So I'm like eh. Whatever. If it, if it dies on this trip and it just serves its purpose to go on this trip, then that's fine. Like, I have no problem with that. But, like, if it's Lynn's hat, no, that's, like, precious gold to me. So, <sighs> anyway, she's going to come by with some soft bonnets for me to look at, which would be super easy to fit in my suitcase and stuff and wouldn't be hard like this. So, I am super appreciative of that and um going to see what she's got because I think there's one that's, like, a kind of like this color um, that I think would go well with this jacket. So we're going to see. We're going to see if it looks good and whatever. So we'll try next weekend. <sighs> Bonnet woes. Bonnet woes. Okay, what else do I have to talk about? Oh, I also got this pattern from Black Snail Patterns, which, oh my god, like I so want to make this jacket. I've always wanted to make this jacket, so... This might happen at some point. We will see. Um, I think that's about it. I have all my stuff from yesterday out on the table. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff back. Um, I did wear my Regency boots yesterday. They're so comfortable. Like, so comfortable. They're the heart fields. I'm wearing the ivory ones. I think I also have the blue ones. I think they are the blue. I don't know, let me go look. Let's go look in the shoe closet that's full of American Duchess. <laughs> Um, these are they. Oh, they're dark brown. Okay. Um, so I have a pair of ivory and a pair of dark brown. Um, yeah, those are all my historical shoes. <laughs> Actually, it's not really all my historical shoes. There's more that are stuffed in my actual closet because I couldn't fit them in here. <sighs> okay, I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to regroup and see where we're at. Um... I know where I need to put the thread loops now, I know what I want to do with the sashes, so I could do both of those today if I wanted to. Um, I do want to make a new sleeve and take out the old sleeve. I'm going to make the new sleeve before I take out the old sleeve, <laughs> so that just in case I still have the sleeve. Seems like a great idea. Okay, uh, that wig is over there taunting me too. I'm like, I don't know what to do with you. I kind of know what to do with you. And I kind of don't. I think that's going to be, let's just say, a hot mess. <laughs> um, yeah. But it only has to be worn once. It was a $10 wig. It's fine if it dies. So I just have to get it to look okay under a hat. So that's my goal so far. Okay. Moving on with life. Hey, Noelle, what were you supposed to spend all day doing? Stuff on my board. Did you bother to sew yesterday? No, I did not. What did you actually spend your day doing? Mm, I made a trim board. <laughs> Don't worry, I filmed a tutorial for you on how I made this thing. But I made this trim board so that I can pin into it and make a trim on it um, and be able to iron on it and do all that sort of thing. Uh, it needed to get done. I've been wanting one forever. These are my excuses. I have to make 18th century trims, so I thought it would be a good time to have one. Cool. It's like 4.30. I didn't do anything yet. Rad. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna clean up the mess I made making this tutorial and making this trim board and then get cracking. I am currently moving all that footage off of another SD card. I finally got a second SD card. Boop boop! Um, although someone told me that I, mine's really big. This one's like 256 gigs and I'm like, that sounds great. And someone was like, be careful with that because they, um, sometimes like screw up when they're really big and I'm like, oh, so... Hopefully this is recording well. Okay, I'm gonna go clean this stuff up and then I need to figure out how big the sash, how wide the sash is so that I know how big to make my thread loops and then I'm gonna learn how to make thread loops and put them in my dress. I just need two, like one on each side to hold my sash. 
I, I'm not even sure I actually need them, but I'm gonna put them in anyway. <laughs> oh, and I think my dress needs like a hook and eye, someone said. Like, yeah, so I might add one of those. Also of potential interest today, Katie from Dystopia, spelled D-I-Y-S-T-O-P-I-A, over on Instagram, that has created a YouTube channel, which I'm super excited about, and she did a tutorial on her creepy Victorian hand. She made this, like, hand. Like, you have to have seen it by now, but go look over on her account, give her a view on her YouTube. It, like, she's awesome, so I have a feeling anything she puts on her YouTube channel is gonna be amazing. Um, anyway, she made a hand pin cushion. The thing is super creepy, but the video is very funny, so, um, well, it's very instructive and funny. She's like, I'm not going for the Frankenstein look here. I'm going for the bloated river hand <laughs> look, and I'm just, like, dying. Anyway, go check it out. I'm gonna link that video down below for you. Okay, since last we talked, my husband's had two separate crises, which I helped him resolve, and I got thread loops on my dress. A button fell off so I sewed that back on and I put a hook and eye in which uh, yesterday Lynn told me that I probably needed it uh, at the top of my placket so that's all in uh, so that takes care of all the like trimming stuff I need to do on that um, the thread loop is the sash looks like it's supposed to be about two inches wide I made the thread loop two and a half inches long and set it at two and a quarter so it bulges out a little bit so it can accommodate a little bit wider if it needs to or if there's some variation or I decide to shove something else through there or whatever so it's set to go for that so um, I might look at what I have for sashes now um, this belt I don't fully understand it I guess I gotta figure that out um, so this looks like it will go around me and I'm like cool but also, like, a, it looks, it has a seam allowance, so I'm like, does that mean you fold over the edge and sew down it so there's two giant seams down it? Like, shouldn't it just be a circle, a, you know, like a long tube, basically, that you press flat? Like, I don't understand. And then, this looks like it goes all the way around me, but they don't talk about what the closure is on it at all. And I'm like, mm, hook and eye? Are we talking about... Like, a lot of people I see have long sashes that go, you know, their way out here. <laughs> so that you can tie them in a bow in the back. Um, so, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to figure that out in just a minute. I want to read the instructions one more time just to make sure of what it says. And then I might reconfigure this situation because I'm not sure I love the way this is. For those of you keeping track of what's going on right now... Boop, it's done. I also pulled my pattern so that I can make new short sleeves. Uh, I think I'm gonna make like the simplest ones possible <laughs> because I don't want to deal with it. And then I'll take these sleeves out, put these sleeves in, and that'll be done. And I get a sash, and then we're all good to go for Regency Day dress, which I am super pumped on. Okay, I'm completely wrong. This, um you have to cut two of these and one of the interfacing so you actually do flip it all the way inside out so it is a tube and it says add closure of your choice suits choosing such as buttons or hooks and eyes okay that makes sense um i might make one like this and then if i hate it i will go ahead and make long tails later on the next one so that i can do a bow but this should be satisfactory for right now. I was not prepared for this. That is what I've decided. Okay, so I just grabbed this random blue because I decided I want blue, and it's blue shot red, which is actually awesome, um, out of my stash. And I cut the two belts, and um, it wants sew-in interfacing, but the only sew-in interfacing I have is gross and thick and disgusting. So I cut some cotton fusible, which is really nice. Um, and it'll feel better so that's what I'm using and I'm gonna use that to make this belt however I of course don't have freaking thread to go with this random blue color that I bought in the fabric district a year ago so <laughs> I'm gonna interface this and I'm gonna go on a quest for another blue thread that worked on silk that I have a good like a Guterman silk by the way Guterman silk isn't real silk apparently it's like wrapped or something I gotta go look at what the 
what Mello's notes were on that, but it's not real silk. So if you get Guterman and think it's silk because it says silk, I think that's lies. I gotta check on that, so don't quote me just yet, but I think so. But I'm gonna use that anyway. <laughs> but I'm gonna go try and find that because I think I stashed that with the makings of the dress, which is downstairs in the garage. And that might be close enough that I could use it. Otherwise, I gotta wait till tomorrow to finish these belts, which just ticks me off because I'm like finally doing this and I'm like, grr. If I was, I, I considered it briefly hand doing it because you can use the things that pull off your silk. Like you can use this as your thread because it's silk thread. So it's totally usable. However, I don't really want to do this by hand. So here we are working with what we've got. Uh, this is what I get for trying to do stuff on the stash. Um, so I'm going to infuse this up real quick and then go see what I've got. And if not, I'll move on to doing something else. And obviously, because I'm me, the fusible isn't quite wide enough. <laughs> Rad. So I'm going to have to patch some in, but that's okay. This is how my life is. I'm used to it. Okay, I have found it, and it is a very close match, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this instead of worrying about it. Um, and this is 100% silk on it, so maybe I misheard Mella. So I'm going to just assume that I am standing corrected on this and that I am wrong here. But I kind of remember her saying something about this. So maybe I will contact her and ask her what she said. I looked in her notes and I didn't see anything about it, but she didn't really talk about brands in her notes. She just talked about brands in person. So we will see. Okay, I have graded the seam. I graded the one with the interfacing on it a little bit smaller, um, and I do it with pinking shears for two reasons. One, it makes you not have a harsh line when you iron this back out, and then two, um, the silk will fray less, and the silk wants to fray super, super bad. So this should super help that, which I'm excited about. And I did them at different rates so that it sort of gradually goes away when I iron it <laughs> instead of like just one hard line that's double double thickness. Okay, we have a sash. Woo woo. It has hooks and eyes um, so that it can overlap. Um, and I sort of had to eyeball it as far as like how big around it is, but I just put it around me because it's a part of you that doesn't squish very much anyway. It's right underneath your breast, so that's not a squishy zone. So I just eyeballed it and gave it a little room for the seven layers of clothing <laughs> that you have on when you're doing this and uh, it should be okay. If not, it's it's attached by the belt loop, so it should be fine. So woo woo, we can cross off sash. I feel like I've actually totally slacked off this weekend because I laid around so much, but get stuff done, so that's good. Um. I might look at the short sleeve pattern that I have and see what that looks like and maybe cut it out. So we'll see how that goes. By the way, that fusible cotton fabric interfacing was 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Awesome to work with. So definitely recommend that over Pelon or whatever that stuff is at the store that feels icky. So I really like it. I really only ever want to use that from now on if I have to use physical, so I'm really excited. Uh, I think from now on what I'm going to do is whenever I make something with my silk, if I have strips that I can use, I am going to save them to make different colored sashes to go with Regency garments. <laughs> so I think that is my plan going forward. I also kind of want to find a belt buckle because I think you can like get a belt buckle and you put it in the front and you wrap it around once and then again and you run it through the belt buckles in the back and it'll stay. Or it could also make a bow. So just for options. Since I have all this silk anyway, I'm going to well be using it to make cool sash thingies. If I have time, which I might, we'll see, um, I might make a brown one out of Watson because this hat is brown also. Um, and I could wear it even with my Regency Spencer, Spencer during the day. So that might be a thing. We'll see. Um, for now, I'm going to put this away since I called that good. And I think I'm going to, like I said, look at my pattern for the sleeves and see how bad that is to cut out. And then if it's easy, I'm just going to do that and get it knocked out. 
so that I can put short sleeves into this dress. My head has been all over the place the last like hour or two. Sorry, I gotta close my curtains. Uh, so I finally got out the pattern and I cut it out and now I'm gonna cut out the fabric part and get that rocking and rolling. Um, I don't see anything that tells me I need to have lining so that makes me happy. Um, although I'm kind of wondering about that because I guess the bodice is lined, right? So, hmm, maybe we just won't worry about that. Okay, cool. Um, also, I've been considering my options for 18th century trim. Um, so I think I'm going to do a double box bleed. I'm trying to figure out how wide I want it. Probably not very wide because, like, this isn't very wide up here, so um, I don't know how it would, you know, look. So just probably not very wide. And then just down the front probably. So just around the neck and down the front and then maybe around the cuffs. So not too much, which will be good. I just got to figure out how I want to do that. Lynn gave me um, a freezer paper method that I'm trying to figure out, which should theoretically make the whole thing a lot easier and faster but I gotta figure it out, so there's that. Um, alternately, I could use my new trim board and just make the thing the old fashioned way. I would earn it. Um, so yeah, I also sat there on my phone for like, I don't know, probably like a good 45 minutes trying to make a pack list. I know I'm three weeks out. Actually, I'm 19 days from when I leave. 19 days. It sounds really crazy when you say 19 days. Um, yeah, so I'm like 19 days from when I leave. So I started making a pack list, just making sure, because it's not just like the stuff. I also got to bring like emergency things. Like, do I have the thread that I used on each outfit so I can make sure that if something happens, I can stitch the thing back up and stuff like that. So I started doing that stuff. I started researching stuff to do in Amsterdam and London. So. I've just been a mess and all over the place. I think I'm gonna cut these sleeves out and then call it because clearly my brain is all over the place. I might go look at more dress trim and figure out. Oh, and Claudine made me some fly fringe. I wonder where I put that. That is a very fine question. You know what's really great right now is that Claudine doesn't watch these vlogs. So she will never know that I don't know where her fly trim is right now. <laughs> so I gotta find that because I was gonna do the double box plate and maybe put the fly charm on top of it. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta I gotta find the stuff. Let me find it first and have a look at it. She said her Roomba ate it and then she cleaned it. So she's like, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. So I don't know, but I, I want to use it because that sounds awesome. So let me figure out where that is and then I will get back to you on whether or not I'm gonna use it. Okay, we're getting close. I mean, I feel like 19 days I can totally do this stuff on this board. I kind of also want to make a cap to go under whatever Regency bonnet I wear. Don't know if that's going to happen. I kind of want to make an overdress. I don't know if that's going to happen. If that's going to happen. Um, one of you guys actually used a CAD program and made me an overdress pattern. Um, so if even if I don't make that before I go, I will for sure make it when I get back because I want to see what that looks like. Someone else was suggesting a sleeveless, just like, basically just a vest kind of thing. Just a little sleeveless number that you can use pattern pieces from the actual dress to just whip up. So I might do that. I'm not sure. So I gotta figure out what's going on. Basically, I don't know what I'm doing, but so far the stuff on that board is what I really wanted to get done and that seems all reasonable. Okay, I'm gonna go cut this fabric out. Woo woo. Oh! What am I listening to? Okay, I'm listening to A Grown-Up Guide to Dinosaurs, and it's an Audible original, so you can only get it on Audible, and it was like one of the free ones, I think, from last month. Anyway, this is actually super awesome. Like, I like dinosaurs. I mean, who doesn't like dinosaurs? One of the things I might do when I go to Europe is go look at dinosaurs. Well, you know, skeletons. Anyway, so this this Audible original is awesome. If you have Audible, you can now get these and like uh, after they, they're they free for a month, like you get 
two Audible originals every month. And there's different ones every month. So this was last month, so you can't get it for free anymore, but you can certainly pay for it or use a credit for it. And it's pretty awesome, so. What are you guys listening to? What are you reading? What What's up in your world? What are you watching? What TV shows are you watching? I'm still loving Harlots. I'm still loving Handmaid's Tale. What else am I watching? Oh, The Rook. Do you guys watch The Rook? It's like about this chick who has like superpowers, but she doesn't know it and she wakes up from after an accident and she doesn't even know who she is or what the deal is, but she's left herself like two boxes. One is like if you want to piece together what your life is like and the other box is if you want to start over and get a new life. So, and it's all set in England. Anyway, it's kind of awesome. I'm not sure if I love it, love it, but I certainly like it a lot enough to keep watching it. Okay, I'm gonna go stop procrastinating and cut this thing out. Hey guys, welcome to Monday. Not gonna lie, like, I'm not in it today. I'm just not. I don't know why. I just wanna lay in my bed and chill. It is Monday and I usually give myself Mondays off. But I took Saturday off and I'm definitely gonna have to take this Saturday off because man, do I have a big day on Saturday. Like, I have a pedicure and then I'm supposed to go get a tour of Apple campus with one of my friends, which is amazing and I am absolutely gonna do that. And then I have another friend who's in town from England who I've had a dinner date reservation with for like a month, so I'm not gonna be sewing Saturday either. So I said to myself that I would do one hour and I know that those are sleeves. Um, and if I don't feel like doing my sleeves, I'll do something else, but I'm gonna do one hour of something in here. I thought I would do a little mail haul though and also talk about this hat for a minute. Okay, a little mail time for you. So those of you who saw Instagram may already know this, but um, I got my first piece from Dames à la Mode. Dames à la Mode? I can't say that. I don't speak French, people. I'm going to have a hell of a time in France. Like, I cannot even grok French. Anyway, so I got this, and she is lovely and beautiful and sparkly, and I am super into her. So my Regency Day dress, which I will put a picture of here, um, that I wore to the Regency baby shower situation, I'm going to take the jacket off and I'm going to put a blue sash on that one that I was just working on and this necklace and then some sort of blue turban and it will make a m mysterious blue thing going on. I think I probably need a different reticule for that crap. Okay, cool. <laughs> I also got some beeswax and um, this came from TOC Fabrics, um, who is on Etsy and they, I was, Mella told me to stop using the weird thing from Joanne, <laughs> so I threw that out. Um, you don't all know what I'm talking about. It's like round and yellow and it has slits in it and you put the, pull the thread through it. Yeah, she says throw that in the trash. So I did that <laughs> and so now I have this. I also got my white gloves, which I'm going to try on in just a second. Okay, so this hat. I am going to take this, whatever this is, out. <laughs> um, I think this is covering a whole bunch of bad stitching though. The more I like play with it, the more this thing feels so weird. Like it feels, it's supposed to feel a little mushy, like because it has, should have felting in it, but it feels like really squishy, which is bizarre to me. Um, also, this trim appears to be like mainly hot glued, which makes me not excited. And this fabric is just not good. <laughs> so it's it's great for pictures, I'm sure. So um, we'll see what Lynn has, because. Lynn has some better stuff than this because her stuff's like legit and real and whatever. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can make it fit anyway just in case I ever need to wear it somewhere ghetto, but I actually think this is going to make me super hot if I try to wear it and given that like if I bring something like this, I basically have to wear it like on planes and trains and automobiles if I don't just smash it into a suitcase. Um, <laughs> so I don't want to have to do that. Gross. No. Also, RE that wig. Lynn emailed me today and she had some hot tips on how to deal with that and she might have curlers that I can use. I have some curlers that I bought and then she was like, yeah, don't use those. <laughs> so um, that's where we are <laughs> with the wig situation. But she said I can like iron the bottom of it to straighten it out before I curl it and then apparently you can set it in the freezer. I don't know about that. I've never even heard of that, but Lynn knows all things. So I trust her. So I'm going to try that. If it doesn't work, the worst that's going to happen is I'm just going to do it again and dip it in some boiling water and then wait for it to dry, but freezer for 15 minutes sounds better. 
Anyway, that's where we're at. Um, I'm gonna pluck around here for a little bit and see what I can get away with getting done for just a little bit of time today. Okay, well, this schnitzel is hot glued in here. I can tear it out, and I probably will tear it out, and then I will have to replace it with something else, but is what I have to say to this. This is what $70 hats get you. Buy from Lynn McMasters. It'll cost you a lot more, but it'll be perfect. This ad not sponsored by Lynn McMasters. Okay, I gave up. That was going to be too messy to rip out. So I'm just like, nope. I'm just going to stop considering that <laughs> as an option or a thing at this point. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, cool. I don't want to work on this. Do da, do da. Sleeves are stupid and a mess. All the do da day. All the do da day. All the do da day. I really don't want to work. All the do da day. Hello peeps, it's Wednesday. I skipped yesterday because I didn't feel so great. We had some like sushi food for lunch and I'm allergic to fish and shellfish. So um, I don't, obviously don't eat fish when I go there, but definitely it uh, got contaminated or something because I was a mess all day yesterday. Anyway, I'm much better now. So I uh, just finished up work and I'm gonna hit these sleeves hard because I would like them potentially at least made today. If not on that dress, but I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say made today. Um, so that I can knock some stuff off my list, which is my golden knife. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Okay, um, so I'm going to go do that now. Random commentary to feel like I think these are good. I walked around them all day and they were very, very comfortable, so I don't think I need to worry about that. 
just need to do this one thing and then this can, can get marked off. Um, oh, by the way, I ordered a red necklace for this. That's like super period accurate uh, from Domicello Mode again. So hopefully that shows up in time. So we'll see. But I'm almost done with this guy. And then I just have to deal with this and I'm done. Um, I am going to keep these sleeves, the, the long ones. I'm just going to put them in a bag and put them in storage um, in case I ever decide I want to put long sleeves back on because I don't want to make another set of sleeves. I hate making sleeves. I hate sleeves. Um, so I was looking at this and I was looking at a bunch of pictures and these are the instructions. I'll put two buttons here, fabric cover them, blah, 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 put them up so that you can pollinate this dress. I am also going to put a little flat button on the inside right here because it looks better when you put it to the inside. And I see it all the time in like all kinds of extant blah blah blah. So I'm going to make it optional that I could do both. And I'm just going to put a little button in there. And that same tape can hold it. So anyway. But it'll be just right underneath that one. In case anyone actually cares. <laughs> also BT Dubs, these are not lined. So you will absolutely be able to see my tattoo underneath them. Um, I think my tattoo is going to come out the bottom of them. The Hogwarts one because it's pretty massive. So I feel like the tattoo situation is just like everybody needs to cope with the fact that I have them. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. It's permanent on my body. I guess I could have lined these, but I still think it's gonna come out the bottom. So whatever at this point. People in Bath can get over themselves. It's done. Sleeves are in. The final battle score was Noelle 2, Slaves 2. I had to like, I don't know what happened, I kept like losing all my gathering stitches and having to like unpin the whole thing, so I didn't have to rip it out at least. I only had to rip out one little tiny section where something got caught and fix that, uh, which I consider a victory. <laughs> Usually it's like Sleeves 5, Noelle 0, so anyway, we're gonna do the thing now. And with that, I am going to call it a day and I'm going to call it a vlog. Uh, I'm going to go out tomorrow night and apparently we're watching the Door the Explorer movie. There might be cocktails involved in that, just so everyone's clear. <laughs> I think it might need it. Anyway, uh, my friend wants to see it, so we're gonna go see that. <laughs> so tomorrow's out, so I'm just gonna call this vlog here and post it up for you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you got all the way to the end, give me a to the end down in the comments below. What are you guys reading? What are you watching? I watched the end of Handmaid's Tale. Like there's an emoji for that. I was like, oh my god, okay. <laughs> Cool. So season four then. Um, what am I? I will listen to two more of those dinosaur books because he writes like really short ones and then reads them. So they're only like an hour and a half long. So I read one or listened to one on s Triceratops and one on T Rex. There's one more. I don't remember what that one's on. Anyway, I'm going to listen to that soon. What are you guys into? Let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you next week with another vlog where we will tackle this beauty and get some trim on her. Maybe some more buttons. We will also attempt to style that wig that's just sitting in the corner looking sad. Like, I don't know how that's going to go, just so we're all clear. This might be a failed situation here. Like, I d don't know. Yeah. Oh, people keep asking me about this bonnet. Like, as I said earlier, I don't know. Probably not going to bring that one. And I'm kind of sad about it because that was a waste of a lot of money. Oh, well, that's what I get for buying things on the internet. Apparently, there's an awesome marketplace at Bath. It's like, a, yeah, vendors come and sell things at Bath. So that's going to be fun. I also can't wait to go there. Um, might have a surprise guest on the vlog. We don't know. We'll see. Might be awesome. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good week, and it's the weekend for you guys pretty soon, so I hope it's a great weekend. See you guys later.